We're here at Pro Stone in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and they've been kind enough to let us shoot our training video here. Now we've already scanned all of their display stones, and we're happy to announce that all of them have come out safe. Hi, Maggie from AirCheck again, and today we're going to go over the PM1703 gamma detector. When you get your PM1703, this is what you're going to find in the box. The detector itself, a lithium battery which will come installed in the detector, and this black check source, which helps ensure that the device is working properly. And we've attached it to a keychain so you won't lose it. The first thing I'm going to do is install the battery, which you won't need to do when you get it because it'll be pre-installed, but when you do need to change the battery, or if you do, the positive end goes in first. And then you just screw the little silver cap on. And tighten it with a coin. When you receive your device, it's going to be off. Now before you turn it on, take the check source and place it on top of the silver dot on top of your device. Then turn it on by pressing the mode button for two seconds, the test mode. This takes about 20 seconds. Once the test mode is completed, it's going to enter into the cal mode, which is the calibration period. Now the reason why we're doing this and the reason why you need to leave the source on top of your device is that otherwise you could get a false reading on otherwise safe granites that are reading just above background. And this raises the alarm level to about 80 or so, which is when you should start being a little concerned. Otherwise, if you don't calibrate it, the device will alarm at about 20 to 30, which is not really something you should be concerned about. Now once the calibration period is over, with the source on top of the device, it should read about 40 to 50 micro R. If you remove the source, the device will start reading the granite that it's laying on. And in this case, this granite's just three or four micro R over background, which is very safe. Once you've calibrated your device, you're ready to start scanning your granite. Now the first thing you should do is mark off two foot sections with some masking tape. And this helps you make sure you don't miss any spots. Now take this detector and start on the edge and pretend it's like a three inch paint roller. That's going to describe the motion and the speed that you need to go at. And just sort of scan it steadily back and forth. Now if you hit a spot that is hot, it's going to start vibrating. Okay, I've scanned this whole section and nothing, the alarm has not gone off. The granite that we just scanned was completely safe. It only read about 2 or 3 micro R over background. Now to give you an example of what a hotspot would sound like, we've got these two samples that were sent to us. This one right here, which is from a distributor up in upstate New York. This piece of granite came from the West African Plains. And then we also have this piece right here, which was sent to us from West Texas, and it's a resilient stone. Even with these higher reading stones, you're going to have areas that will read only 20 or 30 micro R over background. Once you scan it though, and you hit a hot spot, it's going to start vibrating. Now on this particular stone, they cut out the hot spot. Now this Brazilian Bordeaux, on one side of the stone, it'll read about 40 to 45 micro R. But you move to the other side, and it'll go up 80, 100, and barely set off the device. We've tested this exact spot on this stone for radon, and it's putting out about 10 picocuries of radon per square foot per minute. And that's considered a moderately high level of radon emanation, but it's not enough to raise the levels of radon in your home. However, if you find a hot spot that is as hot as this one, which is reading in the 500 range, you may want to consider having the granite repaired. Now, if it's still with the fabricators, they can usually work around this spot. If the slab's already been installed, you can hire a professional who can come and replace just that one small spot because, as you can see, just six inches away, the slab's reading in the 25 to 30 range. Once you finish scanning your granite, to turn the unit off, hold down the light button for one second, and then while you're holding it down, press the mode button until it says off.
this is the same slab of granite that we scanned with the PM1703, and it's still marked off with two foot sections. On this granite, the PM1703 is reading about 3 micro R over background, and this detector is reading about 200. And I'm going to scan this section to see if the meter changes. I've scanned this whole section of granite and the meter stayed between 200 and 250, which is a very low number. Now since this granite's clean, we're going to simulate a hot spot by placing some of these tungsten electrode welding rods underneath the granite. After placing the welding rods under the granite, I'm going to show you what the meter does when you do pass a hot spot. As you can see, the needle jumps considerably. And then as you move away, it returns to its normal reading of about 250.